Hey guys out there in computer land, how are you doing? Uh, hopefully everybody's doing pretty well. I'm doing okay myself. Welcome back for another episode of Lost Luggage. <laughs> of uh, Farming Simulator 2013 Titanium Edition with me, Brad M73. And we are back in the West at the Westbridge Hills map. Oh man, I love this tractor. I'm going to have to buy more of these Fent tractors. They're just... Flippin' awesome. Whoever made that mod should be like, I mean, Giants should just hire them right now. Because <laughs> it's that good. Um, Alright, so look, we're going to go ahead and we're going to get all of our vehicles harvesting here. See here, where's my last harvester? There we go. All right, well, how's everybody been? I've been doing all right. Um, catching up on some um, car mechanics simulator and Kerbal Space Program lately. Um, to think what else I've been playing. I haven't been playing much of uh, Professional Farmer 2014. Uh, they they released an update this week, uh, and they I have absolutely no idea what it updated. I didn't really see anything that uh, uh, seemed to indicate what exactly was being updated, but um, uh, supposedly they updated something. I don't know. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, I haven't. I, I've just been kind of waiting for some bigger updates to come out uh, before I continue on with Professional Farmer. Uh, if I do, uh, I'm hoping to. I mean, I'm hoping that they they get some uh, some cool updates out. I'm hoping um, it's been kind of dry uh, since Christmas. I think they were trying to get all the. There's that sound again. What in the world is that sound? I don't know what that sound is. Strike, yes, I want that. I'm going to pause the video really quick. I want to see if I can figure out what the heck that noise is. I'll be right back. Okay, I have absolutely no idea what it is because as soon as I tabbed out of Farming Simulator, it went away. Uh, it must be some type of a audio glitch of some sort um, it kind of makes me nervous because uh, <laughs> I don't want I don't want my saved it game to get corrupted because of one of these mods um, I'm trying to think maybe it was part of the Fent mod I, like maybe that has something to do with it here I'm just like talking about how awesome the Fent mod is and lo and behold it's probably like <laughs> you know creating the problem. Okay, this is field number 16. Where's my field 16 offload? There we go. And put it on combine mode and drive course. Um, let's see here. Oh yeah, I've got this guy here. I am actually going to put him... Let's see here. I want to get a bigger... I want to get a larger mower. Um, I'm not sure if it was uh, Dirt Hebbers or Stocko Gloss. Uh, had a really nice um, mod. I think it was Stocko in one of his recent videos. He actually had a really good mod for a front and rear mower that actually like automatically swathed the, um, the grass... So I might actually go look at that. Um, another thing that I'm wanting to look at is, let's see if I can get to my mowers, here we go. Uh, I do want to get a Krona Big M 500. I might actually get that next. Um, now that we have field number 20, uh, you know, ready to go. I will need to get another one of these guys, the Bergman trailers. I also need, you know, more, I need more of everything. I need more tractors, <laughs> more combines, more fields. 
so uh, we're just uh, kind of going to see how much money this is going to get us. Should get us, you know, another 28, 27, 28,000, something like that, for doing the mowing mission. So he's doing all right. He's doing all right. Actually, I think he was almost full. He's getting there. Um, I'm gonna drive this guy out. Let's see here. Field number 17. He is the offloader for field number 17. So I'm gonna pull him out here and just tell him to drive the course. Oh no, where's he going? Oh no, 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 no. And he crashed. <laughs> Um, let's see, what else has been going on? Oh, Thomas Sweden and uh, Hemi316, shout out to you guys. Um, they both just bought Logitech G27 steering wheels and brake pedals and all that good stuff. And they are both absolutely ecstatic about how it works with Euro Truck Simulator 2. Um, that might actually inspire me to play more Euro Truck Simulator 2. So um, I'm actually seriously considering buying one because um, they're still on sale for about $215 here in the States. And um, that would be super awesome if I can get one. Um, that would really be cool. All right, no great demands. All right. Um, well, hopefully this guy will drive as soon as that combine is full. Um, I think our cows are doing okay. Not too much has happened since the last episode. Uh, let's see here. Da, 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 finished work. Okay. Oh, instead of using that guy. Oh, here I can get this guy on course play. Let's see. Should be field 15 offload. And I want him to drive this course. God knows where he's going to end up. Um, hopefully somewhere out on this field. Uh, I don't know exactly where he's going. Oh, he's probably heading way over here. So I'm going to drive him over here. There we go. <clears throat> See here. Oh gosh, he's almost halfway done with this field already. That's good. Let's see, all right. What's wrong with my semi? Drive now. Where are you gonna drive to? <clears throat> um, I'm guessing he's probably gonna drive back to the barn to dump off the cargo, the the barley or whatever we're harvesting that he obviously doesn't have. Um, let's see, let's continue on. Okay, that's where I was heading. Uh, let's see here. How do I get out of here? No, nope, I don't want to do that one. I can't see anything. There we go. Driving an articulated vehicle is very <laughs> frustrating. This one's not too bad, again, because it's got the locked steering wheel. Um, I do want to apologize to anyone I might have offended in the last episode by selling the um, the case uh, uh, the case quad track. Um, like I said, it's just not. I don't know. It's just not for me. The whole articulation thing just bugs me to no end. Um, let's see, what am I going to do? Yeah. Come on, a little bit more, a little bit more. There we go. All right. <clears throat> Let's drive up over this pile. Let me go ahead and back this camera view up a little bit as we truck along in our caterpillar oh i need to f mow that field over there oh i was going to actually buy more mowers i think in the last episode um you know actually actually more mower blades for the uh, 
uh, one of the uh, Bureau tractors that I have, but um, I think what I'm going to do instead is just buy the Crone Big X500 or whatever it is. Oh my god! What's going on here? Am I dumping this? Oh man, did I just lose like a ton of silage? Oh, poop on a pickle. Okay, yeah, that made no sense. No. Farts! Ugh! I did, I just dumped all that silage out and it's not on the ground. Oh, monkeys. Alright. Um, well, that sucks, the big one. That totally stinks. Oh well, well now I need to, now I know to be way more careful with the caterpillar from now on. I need to really get in there and squeeze it in there. Oh, that's what she said. All right, so let's pick up this last bit of silage. I'm going to take it over and I'm going to sell it. There's not much left. We've got plenty of silage in there to do mixed ration anyways. And so I'm going to sell this at the biogas plant. I don't think it's going to get me over the 350000 I'm going to need to buy that big M mower. So hopefully we'll get some more mowing jobs. I remain optimistic that we will. <gasps> you know what? You know what? Uh, hold on a second. I know why this guy isn't working. Okay, stop driver. He's not on combine mode. Drive course. Now he should go and pick up... Well, he's probably going to go back. Yeah, he's going to go back again, but... Next time he comes out to the field, he should go to the combine. Okay. Okay, there we go. Back to the caterpillar. So I've started to do some live streams. Um, I know some of you guys might actually be interested in... Uh, oh, yes, speaking of a mowing machine, there we go. I think it was this one, yes. Drive course, drive now. Um, for those of you guys uh, that, that uh, enjoy watching live streams, um, I am going to be doing more live streams now that um, I've got everything I need set up set up um, or I, everything I needed to set up set up um, I'm, I'm gonna be doing the live streams on Twitch um, I've already done like two or maybe three um, and you know Thomas and I uh, in our farming sim let's play series um, I live streamed that last time and uh, worked out pretty well um, if you guys want to watch, I'm, I don't have any type of schedule as far as like when I'm going to do it. Um, I just kind of like announce it whenever I do recording. Um, I was even thinking about live streaming this, but then it's like, you know, I don't know, midnight or something here. So <laughs> everybody's probably in bed right now anyway. Um, so I'm not going to worry about that tonight. But um, if you guys want to find out more about when I'm live streaming... Um, Go to face if you've got Facebook. Go to Facebook, um, search for Bradham73 Gaming, and like my Bradham73 Gaming page. And um, I'll always uh, post updates there uh, as far as when I'm going to live stream. Usually, you know, five or ten minutes ahead of time. And or um, go to Twitter. Um, you can find me at at Bradham73. And um, you can find out about all of my live streaming there as well. Um, so w before I live stream, I'll try to put out you know an update, updated status on Facebook and on Twitter with you know the direct link to my tw my uh, Twitch page. Um, obviously, you can also find me on Twitch um, at Bradham73. So uh, pretty easy to find. I uh, don't think you guys will have any trouble uh, finding that. So, um, so yeah, check me out there, and um, uh, hopefully um, you guys will have fun watching me live stream. Um, a lot of times, if I'm recording, 
Like if I'm actually recording a video like this, I'm probably not going to interact too much with you guys in the live stream. Um, if if I'm just like lollygagging around and doing milling missions or something or trying to get set up and I'm doing a live stream, then yeah, I'll be happy to talk to everybody. Um, you know, before, after the live stream, uh, definitely love to chat with everybody. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys will stop by. All right, so enough about me live streaming. Uh, we're just gonna get him picking up the grass. Okay, he, he's doing all right, filling this uh, trailer up. This is so awesome. I just love course play. It just increases your productivity. Uh, if there was something like this for a professional farmer, that game would be just as awesome. Because I like I like professional farmer. Right. Not much going on. Come on, one more mowing mission. One more mowing mission. Yeah, all right. Yes. Of course, I like right when I actually, I'll just go to my map. Like right when I start to uh, pick up the grass on this field, <laughs> I get the mowing mission. Right. Oh, wells. Can I switch over to my grass picker upper? There we go. No, there we are. So I'm going to stop the driver and I'm just going to kind of go around, try to, you know, just go crazy here, try to pick up as much grass as I can, you know, because this mower is going to pick up tons of it anyway. So I'm just going to drive around, get as much as I can. Um,. Yeah, look at that. He's already doing the work. What a guy. Whoa, don't hit him. Look at that. We are picking up grass. We are picking it up. I know, exciting, isn't it? <laughs> How exciting is picking up grass shavings? We're just trying to pick up as much as we can in the shortest period of time possible. I think we're gonna run out of time soon. Ah. All right. I think that's probably good enough. <clears throat> and then what I'll do is um, I'll just drive him back over and have him start driving the course again. So uh, we'll just drive over here, and then we'll just have them drive the course. And uh, we should get enough money right in a moment to uh, buy our Big M grass cutter, which will be super awesomely cool. Now, I think in the last episode... All right, there we go. So we got 371000 All right, here we go. You guys ready for this? Because I'm not sure I am. <laughs> Alright, there's the current Big M500. Uh, we also have some mods, I think. Let's see here what I've got. Mod-wise. Wait, did I, did I go over them? Feeding tech, bailing technology, loading wagons, tethers, windrowers, mow mowers. Oh, <laughs> let's get that one. Uh, no. Um, what am I thinking of? Oh, I bet I'm thinking of these. I, I bet I, I bet you anything. Yeah, I'm thinking of like, let's see, wheat, barley, and rape. Um, what is this? 
So I don't even know what the heck that's supposed to harvest. Uh, <laughs> I don't. It looks kind of like a grass cutter, but um, I have no idea what any of that means. Uh, I'm gonna blame Thomas for that. Okay, Crone Big M attached 20 meter. Working with it's 13 to 20 meters adjustable. Is this a? Oh, it's 354,000, so it's got to be... Let's see, you can collect and grass much faster. You need to hook the trailer, okay? So we've got that. Oh, I think I think this is the first version, and this is maybe the second. Oh, this one's a different. Big M, it's got the terra, like the terra track wheels. I kind of want to get this one, but I'm afraid that one you can attach it to as well. Whereas, let's see. Oh man, I, I kind of want to get this mod. I, I'll. You know what I'm gonna do? This is really cheaty. Oh, good, another mowing machine. Uh. Whoops. Get in this one here. Stop the driver. <laughs> Move out of his way. <clears throat> now I'm just going to tell him to drive the course. He should just go up to the stopping point and stop. Wait, what? What are you doing? Stop driver. Uh, okay. Not sure. Oh, he's, I, you know, I know what he's doing. Um, drive course. I'm just having to drive out there. Where's the mowing star mission? Drive now. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to save my game. All right, that's saved. And then we'll go back here. And we'll go ahead and buy this one. <laughs> if it's not what we want, I'm totally going to cheat and I'm going to exit out and, <laughs> and restore my game. Um, so, okay, so he should be up here. Oh, look at this sucker. Look at him. Awesome. Uh, brake? How do I turn the brake off? Uh, X, no, that folds that out. B, e, what the heck? No. Okay, I have, huh, I can't even look around inside here. Um, what's going on here now? I can't do anything. No, no, I can't. Can I even? I can't even hit escape. Oh, this is wonderful. Well, this mod is going into the trash bin. All right, guys, I'm gonna pause the video here really quick because I'm gonna have to kill the game and and uh, load back in. So I'll be right back. All right, and we are back. Whoops. And <laughs> now I'm gonna have to get all of my vehicles going again. Um. Okay, let's see, drive course, let's see here, oh, he's going to drive, wait, do I still have the mission, no, I, do I have the mission, uh, I'm just going to have him drive this course anyway, <laughs> I don't think I have the mission, but we'll see, pretty sure that I do not. Um, let's see. Oh, we can probably get some, uh, let's see, he's going to drive the course. And, oops, all right, we're going to have to get him lined back up again. There we go. Get back to work, you. He doesn't need to do anything. Um, I could probably get this guy started harvesting. Um, let's see here. We're going to drive this course. 
Uh, not sure where he's going off to. Oh my gosh! Wait a second. Stop driver. I am going to turn that off. See what bad mods do? I think that was an old mod though. I re I have so many mods. I have like probably 150 different mods installed. And I know that's probably like a drop in the bucket compared to some people. But um, I know some people have like Somebody was telling me they've got like three or four gigs of mods installed. I'm like, okay, you're insane. <laughs> I'd say that in the nicest way. Um, let's see. One of my beers is in traffic. All right, stop. Stop it. I'm just going to pull him off to the side. Actually, can I get down there in time to unload him? There we go. Alright, cool. Well, this field is ready to plant. Um... Ah! God darn this stupid truck. Alright, I'm gonna fire you. I don't know what the hell this guy's doing. Um... Whoops. Stop driver. You know, I think I might buy a smaller tractor and just have a smaller tipper on it because they, they don't seem to wreck and get into these situations nearly as much. Um, Alright, I'm just going to say... Okay, he's just going to stop. Can I... Uh, there we go. Yeah, not sure what, not sure really what happened here. All right, so we're gonna just go ahead, turn that on, hire a worker. Come on, hire. There you go. Um, let's see. Okay, so this guy can actually plant this next field. Uh, what do we need to plant? I think wheat, because we're out of wheat again. Yeah, we're going to have tons of barley after all this. So I'm just going to go up, get this guy planting some wheat. Switch to my fertilizer on the front. And... Hire the worker. Where is... Okay, I want to jump out of here. No! Uh, he's going to have to get out of the way anyway. So, let's see if I can fit him through here. Yes, I can. Get in my harvester and move him out of the way. The harvester is like half the size of the barn. Oh, the good old days when barns were not the size of conference halls. <laughs> All right, so let's put him right there. Okay. Um, let's see here. So he is patiently waiting to do some work. Um... See, I can take this guy back <clears throat> and unload him. And we can park him out here somewhere. Out of the way, preferably. should have gone in the other way because then I would uh, not need to turn around. Not that I absolutely have to turn around, but you know. I was going to 
come in here and just kind of park him in this big barn with my corn heads. All right, so he's ready to go. You're okay, so that finished the work there. All right, so now that I'm all paranoid about which one of these uh, cutter, up, oh, I better. Uh, I better save my game again. Not that it's going to help. Okay, so let's go back here. Uh, do I want to get... Okay, so I deleted the other... Wait a second. I deleted the... Oh, it was a harvester. Yeah, as you can see, the other one is gone. Um... I'm really not sure if I want to go this route. Um, I think this is an old mod and it may not be compatible with uh, the Titanium Edition. So, uh, so I think I'm just going to go and buy the regular one for right now. And then I'm, I'll, I'll confirm uh, which one actually works. And then we'll uh, kind of cross that bridge when we come to it. Alright, so we're going to take this down to the grass farm. Oh, this thing is awesome. Check that. Yeah, see now I can look around. It's got all these cool... Uh, ah. Don't want to hit a tree on my first day out. <laughs> <clears throat> look at this beast. You imagine like seeing this driving down the road, man. How the heck does it cut grass with like these big spirally things? I guess it must suck the grass up into these rollers somehow, and then it kind of just um, cuts them off, off like a paper cutter or something. That's that's all I can you know think of. I don't know. Okay, it looks like my semi is driving around out there. This guy's seeding. Probably get the other Fent tractor seeding. Okay, I'm going to get rid of that. Okay, it looks like the uh, case combine over there is waiting to get offloaded. Looks like he's maybe offloading. Yeah, I can see the the uh, dust coming out of the top from the uh, the barley. All right, so turn on mower, enable wide spreading, or unfold the mower. Okay. Now I think I set up a I think I set up a course play route for this, if I'm not mistaken. All right, so I'm gonna hit X, and we're gonna watch this thing turn into like an airplane, right? <laughs> this thing's like a bomber. Man, that thing's huge. I think I did set up a course play route. Let's check. I think it's like field 20 mowing. Yeah, so let's try this out. Let's see if it works. Oh, one thing I have to do is, let's see here. Working with 13.2 meters. So we'll say, hmm, oh shoot. Um, field work? Okay, there we go. Uh oh, <laughs> we're gonna have to. Oh, I see like little laser beams coming out the side. Oh, that's cool. I never noticed that before. So we gotta go up to 13. Oh my gosh, I can't just hold this down. I have to like click, 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 click. 13 meters. Okay, that's good. Starting corner is gonna be the north east, and then the starting direction is west. Let's go ahead and generate the course, I guess. Um, I, uh, we can do the headland. Generate course. Um, oh crap, now it says no course loaded. Okay. What is this thing called? The Big M? Let's name this uh, Big M. Field 20 mowing. Okay. 
Now we'll see if this works. Okay, so now we'll just say drive course and hope for the best. Okay, so he is automatically swathing the grass. You can see, whoops. Yeah, you can see it right there, swathing automatically. Uh, he's not doing too great of a job on the headland. Wait, what's going on? Why is there a parking thing way down here in the center of the field? That's not how I did it. I don't know. Let's let's just see what happens and and hope for the best, I guess. <laughs> I guess that's all we can do. Now, I need about another $100,000 to buy... Well, I'm going to need more than that, so I'm going to buy another tractor. I guess I can use the front loader up there, but... Um, what the heck? What is up with this course? Okay, yeah, we... I didn't set this up right at all, I guess. Um, that's a shame. Well, it's easy enough to redo. We can delete it and try again in the next episode or two. But this will be a cinch to pick up. So what I'm going to do, let's see here. Can I do that? No, I can't do that. Um, there, I can do that. I'm going to borrow a bunch of money. Ah, I didn't want to borrow that much. Okay, I have no clue what this tractor's doing now. Um, I think I'm going the wrong way. Loading wagons. We're going to buy that loading wagon. And we are going to... What are we going to do? We are going to get this little guy here. And I'm going to try to close the claws. There we go. Turn course playback off. We're going to run up and uh, pick up the uh, new forage wagon, but I want to put the front weight on this guy first. So we'll pick this up and get the front weight. That way we're not going like two miles an hour Come on, a little bit more, a little bit more. There we go. Alright, kick it into high gear, buddy. This guy goes pretty fast, I think. I think he goes like 35 miles an hour or something. Yeah. No! <laughs> Why is it that I always get the missions right when I hit, like, the number three to go top speed? Every time. I don't understand. Uh, I think I want to pick that up. Now, the big field on, over on the other side, I can get the fence uh, seating, so I'll do that. It's, I'm going to hook this guy up, and then I'm going to get the fence started seating, and then um, I'll come back to this guy, and we'll take him down and start picking up the grass. The grass for the cows and for the silage pits gonna make gathering grass a lot faster. <laughs> I don't really want to use it for mowing missions though. And connected. Alright. Let's go find is that our fent? Okay, there we go. Switch to the fertilizer. Hire worker. And there we go. We got him going. Now I'm looking for this track. Okay, he's done. Good. So what I can do here is just drive him across and start getting him seating as well. He does really, this this case tracker, the Puma, does really well with the large Amazon Cedar, so um, 
<clears throat> it's just not color coordinated. <laughs> if you care about such things. Okay, I'm going to accept that. Hire him now. Wait, what's going on here? Oh. Okay, this guy is done. Stop driver, he is pretty much full. So I'm gonna move him off to the side because we're gonna take him take this grass down, just top the cows off really quick. I wanna get this guy mowing. See there's like so much stuff to do. I do it quickly, I hope. Hopefully I keep it entertaining for you guys. Alright, there we go. Okay, um... Oh yeah, this guy. Alright. Ah, okay, there we go. Ah, there we are. Let me get that out of the way so you guys can see what's going on. That's better. Yeah, I'm beating you, and I got a bigger trailer. Um, somebody suggested in the comments the other day um, to, you know, trade in the 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 Bureau tractors for some. Uh, I think the Case Pumas. Um, <clears throat> I think I will start doing that eventually. Um, I'm not in a, like a rush to or anything like that. You know, once we start making tons of money where, you know, money is no longer any issue, then, yeah, I'll definitely start doing that. Um, until then, though, I'm, I'm good with what's going down. Okay, so it does look like he stopped too soon. All right, so let's go ahead. Whoops. Uh... Yeah. Oh, I need to stop the driver. Actually, you know what? I'm going to delete this because that's not the right course that we want. So I'm just going to unfold this mower. We're going to just do some mowing. And then I'll finish the episode up by um, by actually you know, picking up some of the grass down here. Seeing how quickly we can get it uh, filled up with grass. See it? You can kind of see the square boundary of the field right there. And I'm kind of turning down. So <clears throat> that, this is actually where I'm going to be wanting to mow. So maybe I'll actually... Maybe I'll try to use the, the the big M here to actually set up the, the course play rocks. I think before I was using just like one of the Bureau trackers or something like that. So that might be why. Um, or maybe it was because I had the offset set wrong. I don't I don't know. I don't know why it uh, didn't work properly, but I'll try to figure that out for you guys. Alright, mowing mission is completed. Now I think when I, you know, once I set up the proper route for this guy to actually, um, you know, you know where he's mowing properly, I think I can just use the exact same route and pick up the grass. Um, Thomas Sweden will probably know for sure, since he's like my resident course play expert. I love how this mower, you know, conforms to the hill too. So it's not like a combine or something where it's just straight across. It actually, you know, because we had some trouble when we were originally planting the grass here. So that's cool that it does that. So, yeah. <laughs> this goes a lot faster. A lot faster. Turn faster.
and I don't even know why I'm bothering with this little bit. Okay, let's just stop. We'll fold this up, and we'll just drive him up here and park him. Wish we had some barns or something down here uh, to... Uh, there's some barns over there, but you can't open up. This is the barn doors. So let's drive this guy over, and we'll kind of park him maybe under this tree. Turn him around. There we go. And we'll just park him there. We'll run over here and get in this guy. And, um, <clears throat> excuse me, we can uh, just go ahead. Well, we'll just drive down to the end of the field here. This is like the worst uh, course to uh, mow or to pick up on, but uh, that's all right. I want to see if, you know, it's really sucking in the grass. I'm going to see how it does. Oh my gosh, we're already at 1%. <laughs> Let's I'm hoping, I, I'm hoping that I can at least get this, um, you know, this will at least give me like halfway full or something like that with the uh, grass. Not really sure exactly how it's going to go, but hopefully it'll get me halfway there. Well, we're already at 13%, so that's actually pretty good. Twenty percent, yeah. Oh, yeah. That, that, that's definitely going to fill us up. No problem, right? Right. <laughs> oh, don't ask. It's late. <clears throat> Let's see. We'll kind of cut over here. Oh yeah, this this field's definitely gonna fill up our grass, no problem at all. Ah, I'm missing some. Yes. I want to get that mowing mission so that uh, I can start picking up the. Uh, oh shoot, I should have started going the other way. Oh well. Uh, let's see here. I'm gonna drive this guy. Wait. Nope. Yep. There we go. And get rid of that since we don't need that. The mission made the uh, map screen pop up there. So, all right, so we'll pick this up. Oh, look at that. We're almost halfway full. Awesome. I do believe this was a good investment. Hit the like button if you agree. Let's see here. But don't hit dislike if you disagree. <laughs> That's all I ask. I was thinking about it the other day. I don't really get too many dislikes on my video. And that's good. Um, hopefully I'm doing something right. And uh, hopefully you guys appreciate that. I, and I, you know, the other thing too. I, I've been doing this for about a year. I need to go back and kind of look at when I did my first you know, like, let's play video. I'm pretty sure it was Euro Truck Sim 2, but not positive. But I need to go back and, like, find out exactly what date it is. I think it's been a little bit over a year now. Um, but I just thought, you know, like, how how far I've come in that year, you know, technologically, you know, being able to, to put out higher quality videos and, and high definition for you guys. Um, I know for me, when I watch a video, um, the video quality is is definitely you know top priority I mean if the video looks like crap I, I just don't watch it um, unless it's something I'm really trying to 
learn or something like that, then I might watch it. But, you know, for the most part, you know, you want a nice, clear picture. Um, you know, you don't like, you know, when I first started doing videos, I was recording at like, you know, really low resolutions. And um, I'm trying to get around here and pick this up. You know, I was I was recording at low resolutions and... You know, the video is just, the, the video suffered for it, um, you know, because a lot of times I would have, I'd scale like a 480p video up to like 720p just to kind of make it more high def. And, you know, it just kind of looked a little bit blurry and, you know, didn't look quite as good. And, you know, now I record everything in, you know, full 1080p um, and just try to, you know, process videos as quickly as I can for you guys and, um, you know, get my content out there for you guys to watch. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm almost to 2,600 subscribers, 2,600. I can't, I can't even believe it. Um, you know, I, I wasn't even really sure where I was going to go, um, you know, a year ago. And I thought, yeah, you know, I'll make a little bit of money here on the side. And, and believe me, it's not like, you know, gazillions of dollars. But, um, you know, it helps me buy uh, some of the games that I've purchased recently, like Professional Farmer, or, or yeah, Professional Farmer, um, you know, uh, uh, Car Mechanic Simulator, uh, DayZ, um, Starbound, which I've only done like one episode on, uh, RimWorld is another one, uh, a little game, a little indie game that I really like. Um, uh, well, let's see, Kerbal Space Program. Yeah, I did buy Kerbal Space Program um, last year, last March or April, I think. And oh, it looks like we're almost full. Yes. And so, you know, it helps me. Uh, it helps me, uh, you know, you know, buy things, uh, buy you know some better equipment, um, and um, you know, buy buy games so I can you know entertain you guys hopefully <laughs> and uh you know and i and i've really met some great people you know like stocko dirt hebbers fad man who's awesome um ah i don't want to do that yet uh you know thomas sweden uh Thussex driver hemi 316 uh alpha nick you know dio Kios, uh chris andy um, Skulldog, um, gosh, you know, Boy Scout, I'll even throw in Mike and Wiltar, even though you guys annoy me sometimes in the team speak. No, not really. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I met some really good people over the last year and, uh, and made some really good friends. So that's awesome. That's awesome that, um, you know, people can use a medium like YouTube and, uh, you know, you know, get to meet uh, people from all over the world. I mean, gosh, I've got friends in the UK. I got friends in <clears throat> in Europe and Norway and Sweden and oh, Norway. Uh, I think the Shadow is from Norway. Give a shout out to the Shadow. Um, you know, Thomas, he's in Sweden. Uh, I think Alpha Nick is in uh, the Netherlands. Um, so yeah, I've just met some really cool people over the last, uh, year. And, um, so, you know, if any of you guys are watching, I want to say thank you to you guys. You guys are awesome. All my fans are awesome. And, uh, you know, just definitely appreciate the support. I was just thinking about that the other day. I'm like, you know, without you guys, I probably wouldn't be doing these videos nearly as much as I am. So thank you. Thank you, everybody. All right, so we are done. Eh, there's a couple patches of grass out there, but no big deal there. So I'm just going to pull him off to the side. We're going to do one little quick loop around the field, see kind of how things are going. Uh, what's going on here? Oh, okay, so he's still planning. Um, the, okay, that combine is finished. So, yeah, we got a lot done this episode. Still planting fields. Um, see this guy's done. This guy, we'll just get him out of here. Come on, put your pipe out, buddy. That sounded wrong. And, uh, so 
I'm going to just get him out here and um, kind of do some cleanup work. And I think I'll end it here, guys. Thank you so much again for watching. You know, don't forget to share, like, subscribe, comment. You know, let me know what you guys are thinking. Um, and we'll see you back for more Farming Simulator in the next episode. I'm Bradham73. Bye for now.